China's massive floating power generators aren't science fiction, they're real, powerful, and already changing everything. From typhoon-proof wind giants to deep-sea solar farms that move with the tide, China is bringing science and nature together like never before. These platforms float, spin, and soak up the sun, far from land, right in the middle of the sea. The shift is huge. It's about using waves, wind, and sunlight to power cities and industries. And before we dive into each story, be sure to subscribe and tap the bell so you'll never miss an update on China's most astonishing tech breakthroughs. China's first-ever wave-resistant floating solar farm, Yellow Sea No. 1, is now in its final checks before real-world trials begin. This isn't a normal floating solar power plant. It's built to stand firm against crashing waves and wild storms. Set in the Yellow Sea, it's about to enter a one-year experimental run. The system will test how well solar tech performs in salty air, rough seas, and strong currents. The platform will reveal how much energy can be pulled from the sun in such harsh conditions. If it works, it could change how countries use their oceans. China's massive floating power generators like this one may soon lead the world in offshore renewable energy development. This platform is also designed to gather long-term data that can help improve future floating systems. It may unlock cleaner power for coastal cities without using land. Engineers will monitor how it holds up during typhoons and seasonal storms. In storm-prone Yangjiang, China planted a wind turbine made for typhoons. Not next to the sea, on it. This offshore giant doesn't just float. It resists the power of violent winds that would normally tear structures apart. Deep water, heavy wind, and extreme conditions? No problem. This project proves that China's massive floating power generators can work even when nature fights back. It's not fixed to the ocean floor, which means it can harvest wind from places where traditional turbines can't go. This leap in renewable energy is more than engineering, it's strategy. It gives China an edge in building storm-resistant massive floating wind farms that are tough, mobile, and clean. Off the coast of Fujian, China launched something new to the world. It's not just a wind farm, and not just a fish farm, it's both. The world's first floating platform that combines clean wind power with fishery operations is now floating near Nanri Island. This hybrid design does two things at once, produces power and grows food. It saves space and reduces ocean disruption. Fish swim below, while giant turbines spin above. It's smart, green, and efficient. China's massive floating power generators now go beyond energy. They feed people, too. After traveling 180 nautical miles, China's deep-sea wind platform reached its new home, offshore oil fields in Hainan. But this floating giant doesn't drill oil. It powers the rigs that do. At over 100 meters deep and more than 130 kilometers from land, this system brings renewable energy to fossil fuel production. With a lifespan of 25 years, this deep-sea unit is proof that China's massive floating power generators can operate where few machines dare to go. It marks a bold mix of old and new, oil and clean wind, working together far out at sea. This clean energy support lowers carbon emissions in oil operations without disrupting production. The platform stands as a working model for cleaner transitions in traditionally polluting industries. Its success could inspire similar systems across Asia and beyond. In Fujian, a homegrown 10-megawatt wind turbine built by Chinese firms has come online. It's powerful, capable of delivering around 40 million kilowatt-hours per year. That's enough to power whole neighborhoods. It was designed for speed and reliability, with a focus on getting the most from every breeze. This project shows how China's massive floating power generators are getting bigger, better, and more home-built. It also shows the country's drive to boost renewable energy from the sea, not just the land. The coast is now a clean energy frontier. 
In Yangjiang, Guangdong, floating turbines now do double duty. They generate power, and they raise fish. China has launched wind turbine net cage systems that farm over 150,000 fish while producing 45 million kilowatt hours of electricity each year. That's two industries, clean energy and aquaculture, on one shared platform. This approach saves ocean space and cuts costs. It also shows how China's massive floating power generators are designed with flexibility in mind. The wind doesn't stop, and neither do the fish. Together, they create a smart and balanced way to use ocean resources. China didn't stop at big. It went for biggest. The world's most powerful direct-drive floating wind turbine, 17 megawatts, has been unveiled in Fujian. This monster can power 40,000 homes a year. The rotor spans 262 meters. That's wider than seven soccer fields. It can stand up to 24-meter waves and the strongest typhoons. Even if it tilts, it keeps spinning. This is advanced engineering. The machine will be tested in Yangjiang's offshore waters. China's massive floating power generators are now strong enough to face the most violent seas and still produce clean, stable energy. This is energy independence redefined. On November 12, China's first million kilowatt floating solar power plant connected to the national grid. Already, 300 floating units are in place, each 60 meters long. And that's just the start. Soon, nearly 3,000 platforms will form one of the world's largest offshore solar setups. Each unit is designed for sea use, resisting waves and salty air. This project adds a new layer to China's massive floating power generators, proving that solar doesn't need land to shine. As the system grows, it will help China cut emissions and fuel its green future. Qingdao now hosts China's first floating photovoltaic project in the east. This isn't a land-based solar array. It floats. It rises and falls with the sea. Covering about 60,000 square meters, the plant is built to handle ocean tides, waves, and weather. The site uses advanced marine tech to stay stable and keep generating energy, around 16.7 million kilowatt hours a year. This is another bold step for China's massive floating power generators. It shows how floating solar can power cities from open water without using land or polluting the environment. In Shantou, the world's largest hybrid-drive wind turbine is under test. This isn't just big, it's smart. By using multiple drive systems, the turbine improves reliability and gets more power out of every gust. The tests will show how it performs in real ocean conditions. It's part of China's push to lead in massive floating wind farms and build a cleaner, broader energy supply. As energy needs rise, this project could become a key part of China's floating energy future. China's massive floating power generators keep breaking records and breaking ground. Its hybrid design also helps reduce wear and tear on parts, making maintenance easier at sea. Engineers believe it can deliver steady power even in unstable weather. If proven successful, it may be scaled up for wider ocean deployment. This turbine could set new global standards for floating renewable energy systems.